Tell us about the victory in your team this year. Uh, we worked hard and uh, we had to take it step by step. We take on every team, take on every challenges. Every morning we had to, you know, wake up just to train. It was tough, but we had to because we wanted to win. And uh, we just had to do it. So the, uh, the crossover, was the double crossovers, is that uh, part of your regular uh, practice routine? You got that dialed down for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, it's something I do. You know? I like to I like to keep it there, you know. But like mostly it's good. How did you come to West Castle? Um I used to play in Calgary, but then uh my coach was like telling me that playing Calgary you know was not like was too easy for me, you know. So then we met up with Thomas and uh Thomas brought me. Okay. Huh? Cause I, like ever since, I always wondered if there was something like this, like a program like Thomas's. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and strong Calgary connection with Thomas yeah. too. <laughs> Where are you from uh, originally? I'm from Nigeria. Oh, are you? Okay. And how long have you been in Canada? Uh, since 2009. 2009. And came to Calgary first? To, came to uh, Lethbridge. Oh, Lethbridge. Okay. Hey, and uh, tell me, how far do you want to take this? Uh, how far do you think you can get, go with the game? I think I can go and play in one, play, play in uh, Europe. Oh, okay. I think I can play in Europe. Uh, mostly want to play in France, because I kind of know a little bit of France. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Talk about today's game. Uh, what kind of game was it? How would you care? How would you describe today's game? Uh, it was a tough game. The sun was out. It's pretty hot. But like Thomas said, we had to we had to like bring up our game. It's time to show character. It's time to step up. What can you do? And had to play the player again. Like we usually play. The field was, you know, wasn't working with us, but we still had to get it done. You guys did well considering their back line is quite strong. Um, what kind of uh, tactical sort of effort did you make to, uh, like when you, did you scout the team? Did you know them very well? Yeah, we've played them in the league before, and you know, we, we, we beat them a lot. This time, I'm pretty sure they were ready for us, and uh, we were ready too. Okay, you sure? Okay, how old are you? I'm 16, turning 17. When did you turn 17? In May. <laughs> for you, where does this win rank uh, in terms of your soccer career this far? Uh, I think I'm. Yeah, I'm alright. It's more I can do. <laughs> more I can clean up. Right. Cool. And how long will you stay with West Castle before you sort of look for other? Uh, uh, all of the Thomas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is something like uh, uh, will you play for the Highlanders this summer? Or? Uh, that's something Thomas is talking to me about. And with the pro team now on the island, do something you look forward to? Out uh, cavalry also in Calgary? Yeah, yeah that's something too. Something you look. Yeah. How about so, school? Uh, uh, before turning pro, would you like to uh, get an NCAA scholarship? <laughs> For a Canadian college uh, scholarship and play soccer uh, yeah, for your education? I would, yeah. Would be like a good idea. Three, three, <laughs> Just your thoughts yeah. on the game today, Thomas. So what do you think were the keys to your victory? Yeah, no, I mean, of course, we had a game plan, no, and uh, we wanted to uh, pay attention to some of the key points no, for us no, to play to our strengths, no, to move the ball quickly, to change a point of direction, no, to no, to uh, go away from the physical play. No, they definitely would put on us. We wanted to try uh, avoiding too many long boards into our box, no, but it's not always easy to do no, in a game like this. But uh, but overall, the boys really really stuck no, with our game plan and. Uh, what I really, really like that they made a lot of good, good decisions today. Their back end is quite strong. You got Matt, Mark Ashley on the left there, and uh, so tactically, how did you uh, approach this game? Yeah, I mean, of course, they have a lot of veterans now, uh, on this team. Uh, players who have competed on higher levels, the university level, and so on. And um, of course, no, they, they are experienced and clever, no, clever players. So for us, it was about quickness no, and uh, trying to find those quick through boards no, to move the ball no, into the into the 
the channels ne, for them to to go after us. Ne? So utilizing our speed ne, rather than going into the one one situations. Ne? So we wanted to isolate a bit the fullbacks ne, to go into the one one situations on the outside to bring it back ne, with pullback passes. And uh, I think we did uh, we did this quite well. Ground balls, good air balls. Yeah. Yes. And then what about the, all the cross the double crossovers? <laughs> Is that encouraged? Yeah. No. I mean, <laughs> uh, of course, ne, we we work on a certain patterns. Ne, but at the same time, I want to see creativity. I want to see that decision making based on the principles that we want to have in our game. We, we look for a lot of third man plays now where we want to try to split now, the defensive lines and, and things like this. So, and uh, it's not always easy to do this on the, on the grass field. Some of these guys go obviously uh, Highlanders is next level for maybe five or six. Uh, yes. Maybe CPL, maybe Europe for some of them. How yeah, no, I mean, uh, we, is that too much? To drink no, 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 absolutely. We have already a very good communication with the uh, CPL group and uh, one of the players already has been asked now, to possibly you know, come out now, for, for training exposure. And um, we have all the levels now of competitiveness now here in Victoria for those kids. Oh boy!